Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. How can you make a business work in the Philippines where others failed? The reality is a lot of businesses can function. Um, what I find is some of these businesses failed for very stupid reasons. Uh, for example, say the wife of a family was supported by her family to buy a restaurant, buy an eatery, and it's functioning really well. But their husband invites all his relatives to eat there, or they know that he'll feed them for free, so they turn up every day and eat the way through the profits of the business. Um, culturally, he would feed his family, but um, abusively, the family know they can go and eat there for free and not bother if it drags the business down with it. So that, that's one example of where an eatery would actually be profitable. Um, jeepneys. Jeepney route franchises come up. You've got to renew it. Have they banked for it? Most of the time, no. Um, so they'll sell their, their jeepney because um, they can't afford to renew the franchise on it. That's another one. So the reality is, when you look at a business, look at the other things around it. Try and get more information from the people that are neighbours or whatever, because people love telling you um, what's going on or the real reasons that they're shutting the business down. And some of them will be everything in it they don't own, so be aware of that. Um, and others will be, oh, the family aren't getting on. The husband's supposed to run it, but he's always in the pub all day. There's always something going on where the business could actually still be viable. It's just the issues within the family. So be aware of that um, because some of these businesses can be quite profitable. All right, thanks for watching.